Well, there's a couple more we need to determine if they're spontaneous or not that I didn't realize when I turned the page. So we'll do those with some of these uh, number eights together. All right, so oxidation is gonna be our aluminum. And our reduction is gonna be lead two. Lead, you also wanna be careful because remember lead can also be plus four. Write our standard equation here. E cathode minus E anode. Think about the N being a negative, so that's sort of how I remember that. Other tricks here. Aluminum, find it way down here. Negative 1.66. And lead 2 is negative 0.13. All right, if you say, oh, the cathode is above the anode, it is spontaneous. You would be correct, 0.13 volts, but let's just, out of practice, do the math, because it's very simple addition. So that's what makes things nice about electrochemistry. It's one of the few things I actually like is the math is not hard, but you have to orient a lot. So this is a positive voltage. Yes, it's spontaneous. So this is where I have to identify things. Oxidation is gonna be nickel to nickel plus two, silver plus one to silver. Because if I don't use this exact same process, I'm just going to get very confused. All right, so we have nickel to negative 0 0.23. And our cathode silver way up here, 0 0.80. All right, well, the cathode is above the anode on the table, so that's good. And remember, on the table, everything is compared to the arbitrary um, standard hydrogen electrode, which I call the she. So we do that, let's see, 1.03 positive. So yes, that is also spontaneous. All right, now, here we're going to determine what we can dissolve metals in. All right, so this is really easy. We need to find, so for HCl, we use the she. For nitric acid, we use this one. Because remember, nitric acid is a strong acid, so it's gonna completely dissociate in water. All right, so anything that is below either of these will dissolve in them. So you can see that anything that dissolves in nitric acid will also dissolve in hydrochloric acid, but some things may not dissolve, or if it dissolves in hydrochloric acid, it definitely dissolves in nitric acid but it could be nitric acid and not hydrochloric. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna, do, we're just gonna match things up. So aluminum, aluminum is below HCl. So that's gonna be both. Silver, silver is above hydrogen, but below nitric acid. So that's only gonna be nitric acid. Lead, solid lead, that's gonna be both because it's below the sheet. Copper. Let's see if I got copper plus one on here anywhere. Ah, there we go. Okay, so both of them here we have above the she but below nitric acid. Iron. Well, there's two irons, but both of them are below the she. Gold. Gold is way up here. 
Now they'll talk about a special solution called aqua regia, uh, which we're not gonna talk about, um, but just using this, not gonna dissolve in any. Chromium, there's chromium solid, and make sure there's no other chromium solids. Nope. So it only will dissolve in both because it's below the sheet. So things that dissolve in acids, very easy to determine.